Hello guys, Microsoft has recently announced their new code editor called Visual Studio Code for building and debugging modern web and cloud applications. And the most interesting thing about this code editor is it's a cross-platform uh, code editor which can be used on Linux, Mac OS or Windows. And in this video, we are going to uh, download it on our Linux operating system and see how it works. Uh, Linux operating system already have uh, good code editors like Vim or Emacs and some other code editors. But the learning curve of these uh, code editor which are already there on Linux are really steep. So it's not uh, easy to learn uh, them and to master them. So let's see how easy it is to uh, use Visual Studio Code. So you can download the preview of this video, Visual Studio Code by going to the visualstudio.com website. I'm going to uh, put the link in the description for the download. And you can see, I can see this download button for uh, Linux. So I'm going to just click this. And once you click this, you are going to uh, download a zip file which will look like this, VS code minus Linux minus x64.zip file. So just download it and then extract it wherever you want. So once it's extracted, we are going to go to the folder and what we need to do is we just need to click this code binary. So just double click it and it's going to open this Visual Studio code. So now uh, this uh, code editor or Visual Studio code is open and you can see it's a simple code editor which have some really uh, strong features like quick open by pressing Control O or Control, control Tab and then uh, it has the feature that you can open multiple uh, tabs side by side so that you can evaluate your uh, code and you can even organize your files by double clicking and uh, the last thing is control shift p so when you uh, press control shift p it's going to give you all the command palettes or uh, debugging options, whatever uh, are present or whatever uh, is catered by this uh, code editor. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a new HTML file, for example. So it's untitled. So we are going to title it as and it has created me this HTML file. And now let's uh, write some code to check how it works. So I'm going to add first HTML tag and you can see the IntelliSense. It's really quick. And for example, I'm going to add the head now. And when you press this, it auto completes, right? And for example, let's add the body also. Body and it auto completes. So it can make your, uh, you know, uh, editing and programming really fast, right? Let's add some paragraph here. And let's uh, try to add uh, some uh, CSS content here. So let's add style. It's really fast. So IntelliSense is really good here, right? Now let's add some style to the background. So I'm going to add background color so and it gives me so many options by IntelliSense and background color, color this is the most uh, interesting thing I uh, liked about this is when I select some color the color also appears what I'm going to select so for example I'm going to select red the color appears here or some other colors for example blue you can see the color appearing here itself right so this you can do and for example i want to change some properties of the paragraph i can do it
So you can see it's uh, really quick. Uh, it gives all the intelligence and everything, right? And let's try to uh, click Control Shift P now. So Control Shift P, and it's going to give you all the commands available uh, for the use for editing your code. You can see here. And it has the uh, integration with Git also if you are using Git. Now, when you uh, click this uh, button here, you can uh, open the folder explorer and close the folder explorer by just clicking this op folder option, right? So let's uh, collapse this folder explorer for now. And uh, it has a nice formatting option also. For example, I mess up my code and I want to format my code now. So I can right click and I can just click format code and it's going to format my code also, right? And now uh, the other interesting uh, option here is you can open the single file in multiple editors. So I can just click this uh, button and it's going to open my same file in multiple editors here, right? And there are some other nice features which uh, you can explore by using this code editor. For example, you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can set the shortcut for this and you can zoom in or zoom out your code like this. Okay, so zoom in and zoom out. And uh, for now, they support ASP.NET 5 and developing Node.js. So if you require some help, you can just click this option and it's going to open you this help how you can set up your uh, Node application on this Visual Studio Code. And you can read this and uh, make your own, uh, make your own uh, uh, Node.js application using this code, right? And uh, if you like it or if you don't like it, you can give your feedback by just clicking this uh, small button here. You can just give your feedback from here and send it to Microsoft and they are going to look at it. So that's it. You can explore this uh, Visual Studio Code Editor by yourself and see if it fits your requirements or not. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe. And